Hi guys. This is Happy and Ginger. This little guy. Uh, this is a little guy that Emo was comforting last night. He and his brother came here severely malnourished. And uh, he's just had something to eat, but he's still not eating enough for my liking. His brother's doing better. Hey, Stefan. I don't think he likes eating with the other cats and he waits too long till it's all gone. Come here buddy. Come and eat with this pussy cat. Bloody flies. This time of year here is terrible with flies. I absolutely hate them. I don't know what purpose they serve, if any. Steady, Ginger. That's a big jump for a little baby. That's good, he's having a little bit more. So we just received the electricity bill today. 564 euro for the last two months. We get our bill bi-monthly. It's always a bit of a shock. I try and keep an eye on the on the meter but sometimes I prefer not to. Hey Chico. Don't know where Emo is today. There's Tony Tiger. I need to sweep up all this mess. The kittens just get they they uh find branches and pieces of plants and things and just tear them apart and make all this mess. So it needs to be swept up. Kept tidy. We've all we've got to keep everything tidy. If we can, but my first job is the breakfast plates. Steady on, boy. Humphrey, take your time. So I start doing this. What other news is there? Yeah, Mr. Marengo is a strange, strange creature. He haunts me food. He wakes me up by nibbling my toes and he he perseveres and perseveres until I feed him. He eats half a pouch and then he disappears. He goes to sleep until lunchtime and the process starts again. He pesters the daylights out of me until he has his half a pouch no more no less half a pouch and then he disappears and sleeps till dinner time, tea time and then it's the same thing for supper so he has two pouches a day sometimes he'll have some biscuits but he's only got three teeth I think he finds it very difficult to, to chew the biscuits. He, he's got one tooth on the top and one on either side, the, the big canines. He, he doesn't have any other teeth in his head. So it must be a struggle to eat biscuits. But he, he does it. But he's so strange and his eating habits are completely different from the others. The others don't don't seem to regulate themselves in the same way. I know it sounds as though emo is my favourite. He kind of is. But they're all my favourites, it depends. I'm, I'm pretty fickle. It depends who's with me at the time. This guy, Chico. Chico uh, likes head bumps. He's our oldest male cat that I know of. He's been poorly. You probably all know that he had fit. And he had to undergo the treatment for three months to get rid of the fit, which I think we've achieved. 
Yeah, he's definitely clear of fit because he's had blood tests. But uh, he, he's been a little bit off colour recently. So we try and keep a close eye on all of them. It's so difficult with so many. But we, we do our best. Little Polly. 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 You're a bit of a loner, aren't you? Yeah, you miss your sister. Your sister was adopted and you were left alone. Which is very sad. You don't mix with the others very much. You don't like kittens. I hate doing this job. Ginger eats so much. She's you pick her up, she's like a house brick. She weighs, she's over a kilo now for sure. She was 950 grams the last time she was weighed. And considering that her weight fell to 200 grams when she was really sick. It's quite amazing really. Quite amazing how she's recovered. And Fred's just a little, little terrorist. Humphrey's big now. Don't sniff her Humphrey, she'll lash. She'll punch you. Okay, Polly, he's only a baby. So Tina's got a very special way of stacking these dishes. I, on the other hand, just lash them in there. Which drives her nuts. But I don't care. Because I'm that kind of guy. Hey Stefan. Oh, what else is happening? The other kittens are just kittens. Two have gone to be neutered today. I don't know which two. And the two little guys, the two little malnourished guys, have got names now, but I don't even remember what they are. They're, somebody's given them the names. I think it was sponsored, so... Uh, we take that. I know one is a Japanese name for seaweed, but I don't remember what that is. And the other one is Asterix, the Gaul's dog that I am not familiar with. I know Asterix and Obelix and uh, that's it. I don't know, I didn't know he had a dog. So, after we do all this cleaning, I have to do the floors. Um, the beef dishes as well. They It needs to be all clean, clean, clean for the next feed. And then the process starts again. I've just given them a little bit, a couple of tins between them, just to keep body and soul together between meals because the kittens need to eat regularly. Especially the little guys that we're trying to fatten up. Hey, Chili. Hey, chili pepper, chili pepper, chili, chili, good boy. Little blind chili is another favourite of mine. And he's got strange ways, a bit like uh, a bit like Mr. Marengo actually. And there's a possibility they're related because they're from similar areas. Chili came from a hotel in Larnaca. Somewhere, I don't remember which one. Uh, yeah, I do know where, but I don't know the name of it. And he was surviving by begging food from tourists. And someone called us to come and help him. 
because he was completely blind and his eyes were a mess. You like this mucky water, don't you? Hey Ginger, Ginger's still very shy of me because of administering medicine and uh, force feeding. The force feeding's uh, the worst. If you can imagine that you feel really, really sick and you don't want to eat and you just want to lay down, curl up and die. That's how Ginger was. Hey George. And, and so was Fred, but Fred was always slightly bigger. Okay. No doubt there's something else in here that I can't see. Let's get some clean, clean water, Humphrey. You like the noise when it goes down the pipe? You like it, don't you? Oh, I forgot these. Oh, that's why I didn't put the clean water in. We've got to recycle all of these tins, so we've got to wash them too. That's why the recycling bags we have are always all over the place and always full because we use at least 30 tins a day, maybe more. I'm going to fill it up again, sweetheart, because I've got more to do. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, little one. You okay, Chico? That'll get hot, Chico. Let's put some cold in so he doesn't burn his paw. Chico's probably the cleverest cat we have. He seems to know everything that's going on. Sorry boy, did it get hot? That's well, not bad. So, we've got to lift these trays immediately, they're finished being used. Otherwise we attract so many flies. You watching Ginger? Don't worry little one. Ginger. Ginger. You're so sweet aren't you? You're blinking at me. Ginger. She wants to do what the big boys do now. Tony Tiger seems very happy there today. Let's see if we can get behind her. Do you see the difference in size between Humphrey and Ginger? Look at her little angel wings. She's got little wings, markings on the back. You see? Shoulder blades. Because she's a little angel, aren't you? Don't jump that way, sweetheart. So this should keep them happy. Happy. Hey, that no, no. That happens unfortunately when we got so many. Good boy Chico. Behave Stefan.
I need to let that soak. Because of the heat the cat food bakes on. And we've got to squeeze these because if uh, cats, kittens break into the bag and try and lick the tins they can get their heads caught. And on more than one occasion I've seen a kitten running down the street with a, not here, but elsewhere, with a cat food can stuck on its head. And uh, that's a death sentence. So any tins you open with anything tasty, when you finish with it, squeeze the top so that a kitten can't get its head inside. That's just a little bit of advice from painful experience. They're still hanging about looking for food. Hey, Minnie. Moo Moo. Moo Moo. I like your little black sleeve, sweetheart. It's very cute, isn't it? Yeah. So we got car problems again. Everything's a problem. Just got to try and stay positive. Because it's no good worrying about anything that you can't control. Sure, worry about the things that you can control and do something about it. Don't just whine. Should have rinsed the other one too. For there's going to be more dishes around, isn't there, baby? Hey, sweetie, sweetie, what's wrong? Where's your brother? Where's Freddy? Where's Freddy? <laughs> Ginger, she's so much better. She gets a little tired, especially after she's eaten. You can you can see that I think if I'm looking in the right place. So guys, I'm gonna go. I've got a lot of chores to do. I just wanted to show you the general chili, chili boy. It's okay, chili. You leave him alone. All right, chili. He loves strokes, Chili. Oh God, <laughs> everything's such a mess. It's about two hours of cleaning we have before we can do anything else. Right, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.